the person in American history that, in my view, most resembled Hussein radiallahu anhu was Malcolm X, who, as I said, grew up just around the corner, lived just around the corner for a few years of his young life. And he, like Sayyidina Hussein radiallahu anhuma, even though he knew his death was imminent, Malcolm X, rahmatul alayh, he chose to come back to the United States and fight for the freedom of African Americans, of poor Americans, the freedom of white Americans from racism. He chose that. He could have stayed in Ghana. He could have stayed in Egypt. He was warned, but he had ithar. It wasn't about himself. And on the day that he was martyred at the Audubon Ballroom in Harlem, Manhattan, you can read the transcripts for yourself. Malcolm X, rahmatullahi he told his bodyguards, sit down. I don't want you to defend me today. They couldn't, they couldn't believe what they were hearing. Because he knew and they knew that there was a bounty on his head. There were many different organizations that couldn't wait to assassinate him. Malcolm knew that that day it was very likely he would die. Well, actually not die because martyrs don't die. They live. Don't think those who are slain in the way of Allah are dead. And so he told his bodyguards, I don't need you today. Why? Because he did not want them to come in harm's way. This is ithar, my beloveds. This is what selflessness is. This is what sacrifice is.